in Turkey, why ECO is now currently funding, we already have a discussion with development partners to consider what's next. What is the best option to provide support to the refugees in the following years? Is still through a process in which is funded by ECO or should be with other uh, funding streams, as I said, in supporting what is already happening with a medium and longer term. And we should not forget that we are in, in Turkey where the government is already supporting approximately 2 million uh, refugees nowadays. So what the Commission is doing is, uh, uh, is, is an important contribution, but we are not the only donor involved to provide support now. So this is part, as I said, of the three dimensions that need to talk together. We have the the humanitarian, we have the development side, and we have the, the political uh, discussion that should somehow uh, converge to, to a joint understanding on what is happening. This is an important element uh, in, in the discussion ongoing, in which we are more, more and more, I would say, supporting partners to reduce transaction cost as the minimum to transfer the highest amount directly to the beneficiaries. And as you know, this is always uh, debatable. There are different uh, uh, partners with different costs. But as soon as uh, us, as a donor, we are working closer also to the research hub that are helping us to develop the know-how, we have more and more evidence to negotiate with partners uh, the minimum transaction cost, especially when the transfer is uh, an electronic payment through the involvement of private sector. I would say bringing competition um, among partners, it could be uh, conducive to increase the amount given to the beneficiaries. That is our main goal in any uh, project that we are funding.